announced tonight that after spending the past year pushing through a $787 billion stimulus, a second round of TARP, cash for clunkers, and most recently a $2.5 trillion health care plan and a $1.9 trillion increase in the debt limit, that it's now time to freeze federal spending. What do you think of the President's plan? Well, I'm glad that the President's finally realized that spending is a problem. The only problem with freezing it at current levels, it includes the, all the money that's been spent for a stimulus, all the increases in the budget units last fall, in some cases 20 percent increases in one year. And it's also inconsistent to come to us tonight and ask to cap spending while on the floor he's asking us to raise the debt ceiling by almost $2 trillion. The American people expect us to spend their money like they spend their money, sitting around the kitchen table, establishing priorities, not going into debt, spending money where it should be spent. That's what this country needs to be doing. Caps are fine, uh, limitations are fine, but they need to be meaningful, and they need to be consistent with debt borrowing, and they're not right now. The President also talked tonight about protecting Americans from terrorists. How do you think he's done so far? Well, I was pleased with his decision on the 37,000 troops, troops to Afghanistan. I've been deeply disappointed that the President has decided to grant constitutional rights to foreign in enemy, enemy combatants, to send Sheikh Khalil Mohammed to New York City, where he was the mastermind of the slaughter of almost 3,000 Americans, and do a trial right in that city, in my opinion, is just plain wrong. We were right to establish the, the uh, facility at Gedmo. We were right to establish military tribunals, and it is wrong to grant American constitutional rights to a terrorist from another country. And lastly, the President tonight urged Congress to continue working on the massive $2.5 trillion health care plan that Democrats have been trying to pass. What do you think needs to happen with health care? Well, obviously the American people think we need to get back to the basics and do it over again, and I think we ought to do a step-by-step -step approach. We know, for example, allowing insurance to be sold across state lines and risk pools formed across state lines, then we can open accessibility to affordable health care for almost a third of the uninsured. We know that fully a third of the uninsured are really eligible for Medicare or Medicaid or SGIP, but they're not enrolled. The government ought to have an enrollment system so when they show it up at a health care facility, the coverage is there. There are other things we need to do, tort reform. We, the tremendous amount of money that goes out in runaway verdicts and runaway juries or negotiated settlements out of fear of going for trial, that's just not correct. So I would rather us start with a step-by-step -step proposal that deals with the things we know we can do rather than a comprehensive and pervasive overhaul of a system that ends up destroying what 86% of the American people have, all for 14% who don't.